You've been on a hell of a journey with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, there's people's feelings involved. Right. Right. You know, mm -hmm. it's healing that needs to happen. Mm -hmm. yes, absolutely. So what happened, Jada? Okay. So oh, a, no. I think it was about four and a half, four years ago, mm -hmm. um, started a friendship with August. Mm -hmm. And we actually became really, really good friends. Mm -hmm. And it all started with him just needing some help. Mm -hmm. You know, me wanting to help his health, his mental state. And we found all those different resources, mm -hmm. you know, to help pull him through. Mm -hmm. And from there, you know, you and I were going through a very difficult time. Yeah. That particular point in time, it was indefinite. Yeah. I really felt like we could be over. You yeah. Know? No, and we were over. And then what did you do, Jada? Well, you know, I think from there, you know, as time went on, I got into a different kind of entanglement. I think um, you need to say clearly what happened. And I got into an entanglement with August. That's what I said. Hey, that's what I said. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> yes. A relationship. Yes, it was a yeah. relationship. Absolutely. We decided that we were going to separate for a period of time and you go figure out how to make yourself happy. I was in a lot of pain and I was very broken. Now, in the process of that relationship, I definitely realized that you can't find happiness outside of yourself. Mm -hmm. And luckily enough, you and I were also going through a process of healing in a much different manner. Mm -hmm. I would During that time, launched into an interaction mm -hmm. with August. What do you feel like... Um, you were looking for? I just wanted to feel good. Mm -hmm. It had been so long mm -hmm. since I felt good. Right. And Husband, I'm, now I got to be with you at the press conference <laughs> while you like to tell the world uh, about your transgressions. <laughs> well, like, I love, I love my baby. I'm gonna stand by my baby no matter what. No, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely understand mm -hmm. um, why it would look that way or feel that way. But I actually don't look at it as a transgression at all. Through that particular journey, I learned so much mm -hmm. about myself and was able to really confront a lot of emotional immaturity, mm -hmm. emotional insecurity. Mm -hmm. And I was really able to do some really deep healing. Mm -hmm. It was really a joy to just help heal somebody. Yeah. Because I wasn't sure I was ever going to speak to you again. I know, I know. Yeah. Like, the fact that I'm speaking to you again <laughs> is, a, is a miracle. Uh, I don't want to go through this no more. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. either. Yeah. I'm going to get you back first. And then... You're going to get me back. I think you've gotten me back. <laughs> I think you've... <laughs> I think we're good on that, okay? <laughs> okay? I wish, you know, I wish that wasn't the case. <laughs> I do. Absolutely. I wish you that wasn't sure, the hey, case. I sure wish it could be all magic and miracles. Yeah. Hey, that might, that's probably true. That's you know, true. but, um, and I don't think it's about getting anybody back. No, for me it is. Okay. Um, I'll give you that petty <laughs> if that's what you want. <laughs> Uh, um, but, you know, I will definitely say mm -hmm. it's just part of it. Yeah. You know, if you expect to be with somebody for a lifetime. 25 years and counting. Mm. We ride together. We, we die, die together. together. Bad, Bad marriage, marriage for, for life. life. <laughs> 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 That's terrible.